Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, in the Western Quebec seismic zone, there was a magnitude 2.5 earthquake. The name of the Western Quebec seismic zone is deceiving. Here's an image of that area. I can't make it bigger. I was hoping to make it bigger for you. But here we have the St. Lawrence River joining up with the Great Lakes. And here's the location of that earthquake. Now the St. Lawrence River is a fault zone, a rift system that was created eons ago when the continents divided and separated. This rift zone has been reactivated. And I've talked about how with the coming magnetic pole reversal we'll see more earthquakes and possibly uh, yeah, the continents moving just like they did before during the last magnetic pole reversal. This rift, rift system trends northeast and southwest. It forms what they call a half garbon. The rift system extends more than 1,000 kilometers, 620 miles, along the St. Lawrence Valley from the Ottawa and Montreal area. Within the system, fault reactivation is believed to have occurred in this area where the continents divided and the opening of the Laptibius Ocean, which is now the Atlantic because everything moves around. One region located in this area has um, at least five multitude six or larger earthquakes over the last 350 years. There was one in 1925, so I'm not going to try and pronounce and there was another one in 1944. That one registered as a magnitude 5.8 and that one was located in this area near the uh, Lawrence River, St. Lawrence River. They have a picture here of the epicenter but when you click on it it doesn't show the circle anymore. That earthquake was felt as far away as New York City, Quebec City, Toronto and Boston and caused roughly two million dollars in property damage. You figure in 1944 there wasn't a lot built back then compared to now. In the village of Massena, New York, approximately 90 percent of its chimneys were destroyed or damaged along with heavy damage to masonry structures. Now this rift system I've talked about before and it goes into the rift system that runs up around uh, Michigan and comes all the way down. It's what they call the failed rift system where the United States was going to separate at one time but it never you know happened it di didn't complete the process of, of separating this is called the mid-continent rift system and a lot of scientists believe that it actually extends farther down than what it shows here and I've talked about the Greenville front too scientists believe that this separation was about 1.1 billion years ago and it's one of the biggest failed rifts ever discovered. They now know that this rift system extends through Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee and Alabama. No one reported feeling this earthquake. It was 12 kilometers in depth about 7.4 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. There is quite a few small towns um, within this area. If you happen to live there, did any of you feel it and not report it? Um, if so, tell us how long it lasted. What did it feel like? What direction did the motion go? Um, please put it down below. Please stay safe. Thank you for subscribing and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all.